for the best mark. But the success of this team and for Ben Olsen, Nate, is built upon possession. And they've only started back to back in that conversation two times. So the irregularity is difficult to set your foundation for success. The first of three between these two teams in 2024. There's the whistle, and we are underway from Shell Energy Stadium. Match day 10 in Major League Soccer, and it's a rivalry matchup. How do you continue to get him front footed? on that half turn so that he can see the entirety of the field, but make sure that they've still got the defensive responsibility underneath. Here's Dorsey in the penalty area, trying to get it to Kowalczyk, and then Artur could not quite get his laces through that left-footed shot. Now Karaskia, he's looking for the run of Blessing, who was acquired here in the middle of the season. It falls to Bossy. Now Kowalczyk, Kowalczyk and a good sliding block at the very last moment by Brendan Hindsight. In the first nine games, and so with that, there are so many moving pieces. They're in all of these matches. They're right there. They just got to get over that tipping point. Long throw in from Gallagher. It bounces back out to the right back for Austin. Now he drives a ball in, and this one headed over the bar by Brius to ask more questions of defenses by putting balls in like this. They don't really whip a lot into the box in general. They're right down. They need to shoot more shots for Austin. Their XG is so low away from home, 0 0.07 per game, and that illustrates you don't get any expected goals if you don't get a shot attempt, right? And here comes Briusi. He uncorks a shot, a relatively comfortable save for Steve Clark. does well to get it to Obreon, who's got all kinds of space to come steaming down the left-hand side. Obreon playing it across its ring, and it's saved by Clark. We were just talking about this, right? Finding a way to get Obreon out in space. Watch the tail end of the run centrally. Finley and Alex Ring. Finley recognized right there. He starts to dart towards the near post to open up that space to allow Alex Ring, and then recognizes they're occupying the same space. Not bad conditions for the players whatsoever. It's beautiful. Kowalczyk wins it back. Always call for the foul. Is that a bailout for Pereira or the right call, Devin Kerr? Kowalczyk, you can see what he thinks. Well, the referee's not happy with the extracurriculars after the fact, stepping on the ball and not allowing them to get this thing going. It's a bit harsh. Seems to be a little bit behind. That's a much better look there. It is, in fact. He had a good line, too, as you coming into this match and said they've got to find a way to get him more involved. 55 touches. That's not passes, that's not shots, just touches overall over the last two matches is not enough. He's only got 13 on the night now. The lack of confidence they have at the nine prohibits them from really having any sort of true vision. Two in a row. First one behind, second one up high. Force the referee's hand. So the challenge on Kowalczyk outside the penalty area. He sends one in towards Aliu. What a save from Stuver. Blessings rebound shot is blocked. Two decent chances here for the Dynamo. Three Dynamo players have already gone in the book. Here comes the set piece from Bassi, and it's flicked just wide of the target. Another decent chance for the Houston Dynamo as the first half comes to a close. Daniel Steris with his hands on his head as he is wondering how he didn't just put the dynamo in front. Use is starting to create. It's all on the table for both these sides here. As the second half is now underway from Shell Energy Stadium. Once again, Nate Bucati alongside Devin Kerr. Here's Kowalczyk. Switch it over to Dorsey. Running towards the 18. Dorsey, left-footed shot. This one over the target. If you're Gary maybe at all, notice his hips. He's trying to play into the end line to push him there because he's got support over the shoulder. Dorsey recognized. Tour. Bossy turning, flicking it toward the back post. There's a man arriving. It's deflected out for a corner. Love the recovery defending here, and it's great weight put on the ball by Amin Bossi, who's just trying to put this in a threatening position. Even if you can't win that 50-50 such as this, it allows you to come up off the back line. They're giving too much respect, though, just sitting, allowing Hachiachi to come right through. Bossi tried to slide it to Ali, who falls back to Bossi. Saved by Stuber. Bossi. Beautiful space that's open all night long from the back line for Houston Dynamo. 
the save by Brad Stuver. Give him credit, by the way. The ones that he has coughed up tonight when he's made this saves. So notice where he pushes him away yeah. from the danger area. Herrera. Bossi. Back to Ache Ache. He uncorks the shot. Save Stuver. Rebound. Oh, you didn't catch it cleanly. His ability to drag runners with him, but the overall creativity just by his lonesome from here. Understanding that you're not willing to step to me. Can they continue to hold out Austin? Or maybe come up with a smash and grab. Here comes Rigoni! Emiliano Rigoni! And a smash and grab it just might be for Austin FC. You can talk about structure, make all the necessary defensive changes and the 2024 season for Major League Soccer has been expansion of play, transitional moments, getting it out in front of them and running at the opposition. We've seen it from Obion. We certainly saw it from Finley. And we talk about the substitutes finding a way, just the touch back through here, the space in between. How, oh, how, if you're the Dynamo, do you allow that much space on the secondary ball put back through on the wand of a left foot of Rigoni? He's got what would be the match-winning goal right now, and he might just take this to the corner flag and party at the Moon Tower in Austin. Emiliano, Emiliano Rigoni with the match winner, Brad Stuber with the clean sheet. Do we call it a smash and grab in Copa Tejas?